Today, I want to read to you from Hosea chapter 10, verse 12, about some advice that God gives to every farmer. Here we go. Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. The Lord says this to his people. Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. The way the prophet Hosea saw the situation, everyone in Israel was a farmer, even if they made their money in some other way. Hosea, speaking as the mouthpiece of the Lord, thought everyone was a farmer in the sense that we all sow things with our life and we all reap a result from what we have sown. Sadly, as the previous chapters of the book of Hosea show, Israel had sown very bad seed. They had a harvest of judgment to reap from this bad seed. Yet even then, Hosea made a promise. Sow for yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy. You see, even then, if they would sow righteousness, they would reap in mercy at the next harvest. If the prophet Hosea was among us today, he would tell each of us that we are also farmers. You're a farmer, whether or not you know it. We all sow into our life. But do, do we sow seeds of righteousness? What will come of the seeds that you planted today, or this past week, or this past month? This should give each one of us a thoughtful pause. You see, a thought becomes an action. An action becomes a pattern. A pattern becomes a habit. And a habit becomes a life. Our actions do not stand all by themselves. They are also steps on a road, and it's worth considering where that road ends. Hosea tells us how to make a better road. Break up your fallow ground. You see, God built on the picture of sowing and reaping by telling Israel to break up your fallow ground, ground that has not been plowed for more than a year. It's ground that's hard and stubborn. It's resistant to the seed. It does little good to sow seed on fallow ground. It must be broken up first. Several times in the Bible, God's word is likened to a seed that is planted in the human heart. Sometimes when the word of God goes forth and seems to have little effect, it is because it falls on fallow ground. It falls on a hard heart. Something must change in this hard ground that will not allow the seed of the word to penetrate and become fruitful. Since fallow ground is hard, it probably doesn't want to be broken up. It's hard and compact, and the blade of the plow hurts as it cuts through. If the fallow ground could talk, it would probably cry out when it's plowed. Yet it is useless as a place for seed as long as it is fallow and hardened. Hosea also told us how to break up the fallow ground. He said, For it is time to seek the Lord. We break up the fallow ground by seeking the Lord, not ourself or not idols. Hosea also told us when to break up the fallow ground. He said, For it is time. It shows that the time to break up the fallow ground is now. The old commentator Adam Clark explained it like this. This should be immediately done. The season is passing, and if you do not get the seed in the ground, the early rain will be passed and your fields will be unfruitful. Then Hosea told us how long to work on breaking up the fallow ground. You do it till he comes and rains righteousness on you. Though it is difficult work, and though the ground seems to resist the effort of the plow to break it up, we stay with this work. We stay with it until the blessing of God is evident. 
The rain from heaven will not only water and nourish the hard ground, it will also help the work of softening the hard ground. This shows that when the believer works to soften the hard ground of the heart, the Spirit of God is close by to bless that work. We must do it until God's blessing is evident again. God's use of the figures of sowing and reaping remind us that our harvest is sometimes a season away. Sometimes people expect to sow to sin for years, but then they want to immediately reap in mercy after sowing righteous for a day or two. Listen, brother, sister, stick with sowing in righteousness and you will reap in mercy in due time. Sow seed, glorifying to God today, and anticipate that blessed harvest. It may be a season away, but it will come.